you're ready to hear the truth about heat defined fibers, then stay tuned. And welcome to Lady Lovely Locks. <laughs> Um, anyways, so I wanted to talk about this piece. Um, I've got a lot to say about it. So this is Raquel Welch's statement style. She is, she's beautiful, you guys. This is, I, I wanted this piece for a long time. I said about pretty much all my wigs, but, and it just, I was always hesitant because of the heat to find fibers. And finally, I think over like a Black Friday sale um, on the Beauty Nook, who by far have the best Black Friday sales, um, you always get a good deal. And plus with them, you can do the bi-weekly pay. Um, I think it's with, um, ooh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's one of those deals where, you know, you could pay, like let's say you bought like $800 with wigs um after their big discount then like every two weeks you pay part of that off so that's when i got this wig and i figured i'd give it a shot and um so i did this is it's statement style in fiery copper as the title says and um uh, so this wig here's what you want to know about this wig uh it's synthetic heat defiant so this is a heat friendly these are heat friendly fibers hmm and uh, she is hand tied though, you guys, she's hand tied. She does not have an extended nape, um, which would be fine. Like if you wanted to put this up, you could have some of your hair peek through and you could put it up if you wanted. But um, yeah, I love that she's hand tied, you guys. So it's very, I mean, you can feel like, it's like, I can feel like my, my little velvet wig grip underneath, but it's that close to my head. I love that. I I just hate when it's like wefted and it just feels, you know, a little bulky back there. So I love that she's hand tied. And this lace front, you guys, is phenomenal. I mean, look at that. Literally looks like it's grown out of my scalp. I, you can't you can't even see the lace. And I didn't even cut the lace. Either my camera's fantastic or there it is. See? But look at that like look see you can see it lifting so but i this lace front is so good that if you wanted to like literally pull your hair off the face like this and do one of these little things like you could because the lace looks good like you don't have to worry about people noticing you know if there's a wig because i mean look at that you can't maybe in like certain lighting it i have to see like I'm sure at some point that's going to look a little shiny, but for the most part, you know, it looks, it looks fantastic. So yeah, I mean, it's the lace fried, we're called Welch's and you know, I will say like on her shaded biscuit, you can always tell when someone's wearing a wig when they've got shaded biscuit on because there's like this stark blonde and then the dark rooting in the back. But this looks so tastefully done with this color. This is fiery copper. Just brava, Raquel Welch, brava. Miss you rest in peace, I know she passed. But like her company just did a fantastic job with their lace fronts, especially when it came to this color. Let me just say that because Shaded Whiskey looks totally fake. But when this with this color, the fiery copper, it looks awesome. So, this is this is a longer this is a longer piece like this is how long she is i'm like i'm five seven oh i don't remember what these measurements were but i'm five seven so i'm not short not super tall i guess that's tall you know for the average woman but uh so this is a long piece so she's long she has these beautiful curls date night i wore this out with um have dinner with a girlfriend so yeah that's why i wore this piece because she was long and pretty and curled and um she looks beautiful and uh so that's what she's perfect for she is um this color is just beautiful now i was i was hesitant putting this on doing a review right now because it's nighttime um but i don't always have time during the day but i i felt like the camera with the ring light and all my bath and lightings that i have on everything give this color um like accuracy like I'm looking at it in this mirror and looking at my bathroom mirror and I feel like it definitely gives accuracy there's like this 
underneath there's like this um cherry red color i wouldn't say it's cherry it's more like a auburn like reddish brown and then it's got this highlighting throughout um, and it's not rooted. That's like the only drawback, but I feel like maybe if it had the rooting, then it'd be blonde up here and then you'd see the rooting. So maybe it's better that it's not. But it, it's just this beautiful, I don't even remember the numbers, you guys, I apologize. But I know if you're looking at this color, you're watching 5,000 videos of this color. So you'll get those numbers from other wig reviewers who put every little single detail in their wig reviews, which some appreciate that. Some of us don't, you know, but if you're wanting your measurements to be exact, you want to watch those videos. But for me, you get honesty and, you know, the, the, the basics, the point of the wig and not all those little minor details sometimes. But yeah, so what you need to know about this color, it's not, this is, it's called fiery copper because it's, it is a very flamboyant, sexy red. This is not natural at all, but it just looks good. It looks like you, you went, like whoever did your hair knew what they were doing because the coloring is just fantastic. I love the highlighting throughout. I love the dynamics of this color. It's not one color, you know, it's, it's very dynamic. And these layers are just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So you can put that up and you can see more of the, the dark auburn underneath. And you can see like, and it's got this beautiful it's just a beautiful red. And on top, it's almost, you know, you can see this highlighting throughout. It's a little more dynamic than her. Um, she's got like the glazed collection, like glazed. Ooh, there's glazed strawberry. There's glazed, is there like a glazed copper? A glazed sand, glazed mocha. Um, I think there's a few others. But anyway, so the idea of the glaze is like there's highlighting that's sprinkled on top. But this has a little bit more, it's kind of like that, and then it's got some chunks in it, as you can tell. Like up here, you can see all the chunky highlighting. Not too chunky, but more tastefully chunky. So yeah, you can see all that. It's beautiful, beautiful color. Let's see, look how long that is. Oof. Very long piece. So let's talk about the heat defiant fibers, you guys, because I've worn this out only a handful of times because of these heat defiant fibers. But I just really wanted to try this piece and I've had heat defiant wigs before. I actually did something called the heat defiant experiment on, I, uh, oh, I think it was Showstopper by Raquel Welch. And I had wore it during like the COVID time, I had, but I had it up all the time and it was pulled back and covered underneath like a scrub cap or something. So, and it lasted, but then after that, I got tired of that super blonde and I got rid of it. And after that, like I've had some shorter heat defined pieces and then long ones. I'm just more hesitant. I'm just not a fan, you guys. Like this, like I was out for one, wigs get tangled up in necklaces, but I feel like this heat defiant wig it's even worse. And the fibers, while they feel nice up here, they just, they feel like grimy. They just, they feel grimy. And you need to constantly be finger combing. And I just, the fibers on the ends, they're just wiry. Like you, I could go on and on about this, but I don't want to make this video take a long time. I wanted to show this beautiful piece Cause I, I do love her. These curls, I just, I love them. I don't know how to curl hair, you guys. Like I, I try to curl my human hair ones the best I can. I'm not that good at it. It looks okay. But this, this is like phenomenal. I love this. I love this color. Um, but I just, and the, the lace front is just fantastic. But these fibers, I just, and I don't even, like I'm not a fan of this piece because of the, the heat defiant fibers. That's why you'll, I've had a few bell trusses and I've just decided I just don't wear them anymore. They're a lot of work and you, you've got to be able to have the time and the effort to work on a heat defiant piece. And I just don't have that. I really don't have time to style my own pieces. I just take them to my wig peeps at um, Designer Wig Outlets. Haley, she's a phenomenal woman, by the way. She's in Mesa, um, but phenomenal place. But I take them to do my stuff. 
and um i like i might take her take this I, like i've tried to do the the steaming because i know everyone says oh you've got to steam it and do this that and the other and i've done that with some of my pieces i even had a dolce dolce which i loved that color it was that sumptuous strawberry beautiful color and i love that long and the lace front just looked fantastic and i but it just the fibers just frayed so fast i'm just gonna knock my camera because it's like wobbling but it was just the fibers went so fast it was just shocking i mean even at her store there's some really curly bell tress piece that i hear people just go wild about and it is beautiful but that piece has literally just been sitting on that shelf and every time i see it it's still sitting there and the 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 hair just sitting there is like broken down it's just broken down and hasn't even done anything and this has been like i've worn it tonight not even that long it's literally it's like 10 30 p.m right now and i started wearing this at like 7 30 and that was just enough like it just it just doesn't it's just it feels grimy and the fibers i can just see are just wearing down in front of my face it's just crazy it's it's unfortunate and i you know I'm not trying to piss, you know, any wig makers off or wig companies. I just, you know, I'm not here to be buddy buddies with the wig companies so that they'll give me a bunch of wigs. I do this because I want you guys to know, you know, what I've experienced. I want you to know the truth. I'm not, this is why I'm a terrible politician because I, I'm, I'm honest about things and I want people to know what I know and what I think. And no, I'm not the only one out there with like an opinion on wigs. There's lots of them. But I am going to tell you what I feel is, you know, the truth about a wig, you know, whether it makes those people, if I never get a contract with John Renault, because I always talk about how terrible their fibers are and everything, um, you know, then then so be it. So I never get a contract with, with a, as a John Renault ambassador because I didn't, lie enough about their pieces so I can get that contract. That's just not me. I'm trying to show you guys. So because, let's see if that works. There's no extended nape. So if you have hair, and I have no idea what this looks like, you guys. If you have hair, you can, you know, use that. You can clip it up like that and make sure it's all hidden, but you can clip it up and then you can have it loose like that. That's how you can get these pieces to work. You you loosen up like the bottom. So you could, I if I keep this piece, she's always, well, I'm going to have to keep, I'm not going to sell this. I, I, I would feel bad selling this to somebody with worn out, you know, frayed fibers. That's just not me. Um, I wouldn't even want to give this away for free because I just feel like the fibers are just already pretty like used and worn down. So don't ever buy a used one of these from somebody, unless it's still with the tag on it. Just keep that in mind. Um, any heat defiant fiber, if you're buying it new, used from someone, just be cautious. Like, and I do realize I sold like one of my heat defiant fibers and wigs and uh, hopefully she was happy, but I literally wore it like once and I wasn't really a fan of the color. It was like brown sugar from Beltress. It was like Allegro, I think. Anyways, I just couldn't do it because so I was like, these are curly. I don't know how to fix these fibers. They, they just, they don't work. I've tried the steaming, the flat ironing, and I don't know. I, I think I'd like someone to prove me wrong, but even my wig expert says like she doesn't recommend them. She said it's a lot of work. So all these people saying, oh, you just do this, this, and this is perfect. Well, is it perfect for like five seconds or is it perfect for like, you know, 20 more wears? So that's just something you have to take in mind. But yeah, I think if I, when I keep this piece, when I wear it in the future, she's going to have to get worn up. So yeah, that's my take on that. So this video is not longer than I want it to be. Um, but I hope you guys, you know, the color, the lighting helped with this color. So you could see the beautiful of it. And, you know, I hope it was helpful with this review. Um, if you don't mind throwing money away and you got money to burn, you can buy 8,000 of these and, you know, just throw them away as they get worn out. But if you're someone who's like on a budget, I don't recommend this piece unless you're just going to keep cutting it shorter and shorter uh, to get your money's worth, which, you know, you could do that. But I just, I mean, these pieces are just, I don't know. I just, I don't know how people do it with hand, with heat defined fibers. I, 
I applaud your efforts and yeah, I just applaud you guys for putting the effort in because this is, I am not a let me spend 8,000 years on my wig to restore it person. I want it to last and be good quality for the money that I paid for it. And I just can't really justify paying good money for this wig. I mean, yeah, you'd be better off getting like a human hair wig that's gonna last a lot longer. But anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if this video was helpful and if you have any other, ugh, any other questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me and you guys have a good day, good night, good life. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.